in this edition of On Record. The Israeli Civil Aviation Authority certifies Hermes Starliner as the first UAS to fly in an unsegregated civil airspace. The Brazilian Air Force completes successful connectivity tests for the E-Lynx airborne radios on board an F-5 aircraft. And Israel is developing an advanced telescope for deep space research. Hello, I'm Lauren Izzo and we are On Record. The Israeli Civil Aviation Authority announced that the Hermes Starliner unmanned aerial system is certified to fly in civilian airspace as any other civil airplane. According to the CAAI, this is the first time ever that a UAS receives this certification. The Hermes Starliner UAS will now be able to fly over populated areas, allowing governments and commercial organizations to use a long endurance UAS to execute missions that until now were performed only by manned aircraft. These include border security, anti-terror operations, securing mass public events, maritime search and rescue missions, and performing commercial aviation and environmental inspection missions. The company has been contracted to date by the Swiss Federal Department of Defense and the Canadian Ministry of Transportation to supply the Hermes Starliner UAS and by a dozen additional countries to provide other variants of the Hermes 900 UAS. Pilots in training at the UK's RAF Valley base got an unexpected visit from UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The Prime Minister's visit follows a £175 million investment by the UK Ministry of Defence into the pilot training facilities. RAF Valley is one of three UK MFTS training facilities operated and maintained by Affinity, an Elbit Systems UK and KBR's joint venture. The program trains aircrew from initial training through elementary, basic flying tasks, and multi-engine training. These days, Affinity marks its sixth birthday. The company has delivered 42 training aircrafts to date, including the Phenom, the Prefect, and the Texan T1 and T6, and has performed over 36,000 flying hours. The Brazilian Air Force has successfully completed a series of connectivity tests using Elbit Systems' E-Lynx airborne software-defined radios on board its F-5M aircraft. AEL Sistemas, an Elbit Systems subsidiary in Brazil, is the prime contractor of the Brazilian Link BR2 strategic program, which aims to provide national secure data link capabilities, enable digital connectivity of all aerial platforms, and establish multi-domain interoperability. The program is set to extend to all aircrafts of the Brazilian Air Force. The Brazilian Army has conducted successful tests of the E-Lynx handheld configuration lately in a jungle and riverside environment. Israel's Weizmann Institute of Science will be getting a new advanced telescope manufactured and integrated by Elbit Systems for a $16 million contract. This highly sensitive, wide field of view, ultraviolet space telescope will assist researchers to better understand elements of deep space, including black holes and supernovas. It's part of Israel's Ultrasat program, a joint venture of the Weizmann Institute and the Israel Space Agency. Elbit Systems has a record of providing space cameras, nano satellites, and other electronic instruments to space programs in Israel, the US, Europe, South Korea, and Brazil. That's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, subscribe to this YouTube channel and tap the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. I'm Lauren Izzo. Thanks for watching.